en la ciencia What's up guys? Welcome back to the Scene Cartel. Today I got a little unboxing for you guys. We are going to unbox my um, favorite silhouette of Jordan of all time. Um, again, I just said this multiple times. The shoe is so versatile. Uh, the silhouette is classic. It's me hands down. The best, the best silhouette that Jordan put out ever. Like, they have a few that I love. But a retro one is the best silhouette. So uh, let's go. So let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. So we got a little Nike box. Let's go ahead and split this thing wide open. One thing I really do not like about God damn, I didn't cut the box. One thing I really do not like about Nike, like their new uh, packaging or their new shipping, I hate that. I hate how they put this Nike tape on it. This just do a tape. Why would you put this just do a tape? What if I stayed in a in a in a bad neighborhood? What's gonna happen if somebody come in and rob my shit? I need to come in and kick in my dough. No. So once we go ahead and open the box, we present it with this bright red uh box. The all right, it's a little bit of an inverse of the regular Nike box. A uh, Nike One Jordan box normally looks like, looks something similar to this. So, you know, you got a little, literally a uh, complete opposite, so to say. So once you get that thing out there, brown, ugly Nike box, they got damn, just do it tape on it. You have this nice bright red Jordan One box. Um, it's a little bit similar to the other Jordan One boxes. Only difference, only difference is, um, it's complete difference, honestly. Um, the, the, this Jordan 1 box is the complete opposite of this Jordan 1 box. And you can just see that here, difference. You know, complete difference. Red and black, black and red, difference. Oh, uh, you go ahead and open this thing up. Oh, one second. So, let's go ahead and, well actually, you have the, you have the big Nike logo on top. You have a Nike logo on the back. You have a Nike logo back here. And on the other side, really all four corners, you got a Nike logo. So whatever. The bottom of the box is pretty normal. You have a retail price of $170. You have, this is a woman's shoe. This is, uh, so it had the extended size. This is a size nine, which is equivalent to a size, I think seven and a half men. That's why I got it. Thought it was gonna be a money size and it didn't really, you know, it didn't really do that well, but uh, it all right, it's 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 all right. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Whew. Now, let me say this. Everybody knows, everybody knows, a Jordan 1 is my favorite shoe. I don't know what it is about this silhouette. It's just so, so, so clean. Um. I'm not gonna lie. People was really hyping this shoe up, like, cause I had it here for a little while. But people was hyping this shoe up as far as like how the leather is so like so crazy. It had crazy leather on it. I mean, it look it, it it's not shadow backboard leather. It's not um. I I probably compare it to like it it is a it is a very soft leather. It, it is it is. But I was gonna compare this shoe to a uh, a good quality Shadow One or good quality Bread or Royal, so to say. Now, when you talk about, to me, when you say good quality Retro One, you're talking about a Shatter Backboard. You're talking about a Sail One. Um, what else is another crazy, crazy quality one? Reverse Shatters, obviously. But nothing, ever, nothing came. Oh, Breto One, Breto One's quality was crazy. They had the milkiest leather on the Retro One, aside from the the Shatter Backboards, the original drop. That first drop, people wasn't expecting that. And let me, let me say this: that was a crazy, crazy, crazy quality leather one. So 
let's go ahead and get straight into it. We have a bread sole, um, like I say, complete bread sole. Your upper, your back of it is a uh, is a North Carolina blue. Your middle insert is a regular black, uh, matte black, and you have a bread toe cap, or you have a bread front cap. Um, I personally believe, and this is just me, I personally believe Nike capitalized off of their defects. Um, I don't know. It's, I don't know that capitalized. I could say they capitalize off their, they off their defects, or I can just say they have a very, or I can say their design team get very, very, very lazy. Because like I say, if you think about it, it's technically a top three. Just only difference is the blue is a different shade and this is not white. This insert back here is not white. This right here, top three with a baby blue or, or North Carolina blue back heel tag and back wing and check. They're like, I, I, I don't, Nike, please, please. Now I'm gonna keep buying it. I know that sound, I'm, I'm contradicting myself, but it's okay. I like the shoe. You get my approval. Um, like I say, this was a crazy, crazy shoe. There is nothing that I could say that was wrong with this shoe. Um, I don't know, I like it. So, yeah. I did get this shoe from the sneakers app, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was February 13th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah. But, um, again, fire shoe. It was a woman's shoe. It had extended sizes. They were, The sizes went all the way up to a size 18 in women, which, if I'm not mistaken, I think a 16, no. Yeah, 16 and a half in men. Um, I wouldn't change anything about the shoe. Like I said, the quality is good. It's not what it, everybody hyped it up to be, but the quality is really good. Um, you know, past releases, we haven't been getting a lot of good quality retro ones or uh, really Jordan period. Like you get a few here and there and like quality's all right, but bring that shat shattered backboard leather back night. Yeah, I think these are pretty dope. Oh, uh, let me check and see. Oh, this is the one I should have brought out. This is nice. On your right shoe, you got this like little leather um, patch kind of attached to it. It's pretty dope. I'll show a little detailed pictures. Yeah, I like this one. Crazy, you been getting straight to it. I done caused you many fights and I'm fucking on the street.